Hey guys, the Gorilla Tavern here, and today I'm going to be doing a video response. I don't do too many of these, but uh, whenever I find a a uh, contest or uh, challenge video that uh, sounds interesting or fun, I will uh, abide. The dude abides. So uh, I'm going to show. Oh, she wants she wants us to show how to do something, either create something or oh, make something clean something yeah check out her video I'll, I'll post a link down below uh, she she has a channel she does uh, some gun stuff if you're into guns and the gun community you go ahead and uh, check her out she's also real big into uh, homesteading right now pretty good channel um, very interesting seems like a really good person uh, I just discovered her not too long ago I liked her idea for a, a contest video. So I'm going to show you how to turn one of these into one of these. This is a alcohol stove. Um, these are very useful uh, especially when it comes to camping or prepping. You can um, uh, use these with the fuel for these you can use either high alcohol content rubbing alcohol uh, Ninety-one percent is available at Walmart. You can use heat, which is a fuel additive. You can get those at automotive stores, or you can use what I prefer, which is uh, a grain alcohol <laughs> Everclear. That's what I use. Um, you're going to need a book. I got uh, Stephen King's Dream Catcher. You're going to need a razor blade or a knife, uh, even my little keychain knife would work, but I'm going to use a razor blade. Uh, since I'm using such a little blade, I'm going to be using my big old clamps. And, uh, so basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to measure out, oh you're going to need a ruler too, you're going to measure out for the bottom of the can you're going to measure out about three quarters of an inch. So you figure where that is on the book. And place your razor blade in the book like so. And then clamp it down so that it holds tight in there. Then you're going to want to take your can, actually, there we go, get your blade angled just right, let's uh, double check our measurement, no, it's still a little off, raise it just a little bit. Alright, there we go. Three quarters of an inch. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is scrape a groove into the can. You're not going to not going to necessarily want to cut all the way through it, but nice and smooth. Just make a nice long scratch all the way around. You want to be careful not to crease your can as any creases in the can may cause it to fail in construction. Get you in here so you can see what I'm doing here. So the blade is just scraping along and you can see it's creating a groove
Okay, that's scored pretty good. So now we're going to want to move it up. And you want the top of the can to be scored at one and a quarter inches. So we're going to move the razor blade up. Check it for measurement. So that's about one and a quarter. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want to remove the tab from the soda can so it's not in the way. And then score the top. Okay, top scored pretty good. Now what you're going to want to do is uh, press in Might as well use the blade that does is starts to cut along the can and then you can oops and then you can tear the can right along the, uh, the score there kind of like cutting glass if you've ever done that And that gives you a nice, clean, smooth cut all the way around. And do the same to the bottom. Let's use my other blade here. Okay, smooth and perfect. So these two halves are going to go together to form the, the stove. Now the next part you're going to want to do, you could be done with your book and raise it now. The next step is going to be removing the center of the top here. And you can use your knife or a pair of pliers, whatever you have. Just be careful not to take too much. Too little is okay, too much is not good. I don't like that knife. I'm going to use some scissors. Maybe not scissors. Some tin snips. <laughs> By whatever means necessary, you want to remove most of the center. That's probably good enough. Now, you don't have to smooth this out, but you can uh, just bend those down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with my Dremel, make it nice and smooth. Okay, so I got the Dremel out and I rounded it out and made it smooth looking. I like my stuff looking nice, but as you can see in my first one, I just used the knife. Left it rough. It'll work like that. Mostly it's just you want the hole to be as big as possible without destroying the can. 
All right, the next step is going to be making the insert. And I don't know if you can see it in there, but you want a piece uh, one and an eighth in diameter. So you want to take your scissors. So figure one, one in, one and an eighth inch. And use something to mark it. And then use your knife to use your knife to dissect <clears throat> a strip about one and eighth in diameter. Now you're going to want to. This is garbage. Keep it just in case you got to redo it. You're going to want to fit these together, and this is going to scoot all the way down and sit in this little ring down there, like this. So, what you're going to want to do is stick this down in the ring. And then use your knife to make a mark, or you can use a, a marker okay, right here. All right. <clears throat> okay, so we got two marks. If you can see here. One right there. And one right there. And right there. So on this half, we're going to cut half on the bottom. And on this side, we're going to cut half way up on the top. And then these two pieces should fit together just like this. There we go. Now they'll sit flush. Okay. Next you're going to want to take your scissors and cut little triangles in the bottom. Three or four, don't need to do too many. You're going to want to do those about a quarter of an inch up at least, and then fit them inside the can's bottom to see if they fit. For fitting that works okay next step is um, <clears throat> placing the two pieces two halves together so what you're going to want to do is take your bottom half and a pair of needle nose pliers and you're going to want to make little tiny crimps 
all the way around. They don't have to be too exaggerated, just little tiny crimps. What this will do, will shrink the diameter, the lip, on the lower half of the can and make it a lot easier to insert into the top half. So place your insert with the notches cut, the cut notches towards the bottom. And then place the top half ever so slightly onto the bottom half. You want to try to get them as straight as possible too, which I'm not doing. There we go. Okay, so now that all the crimped edges are in. Gonna slowly, carefully work it down until the top half is seated. And you want to make sure your insert stays seated as well. Just work your way around. Careful not to cut yourself. These edges are still pretty sharp. Okay, the insert's still a little loose. We know we can go a little farther. Okay, so now the two halves are seated. There's a little lip on here. Um, you can either roll that in, by doing this, Or you can just leave it as it is. It doesn't matter either way. So the final part, you're going to take a regular push pin. These are the best things I've found to make these holes. And you're going to want to insert them right about halfway down. Uh, about a quarter of an inch down from the rim in a downward motion. Place one on one side, go the exact opposite side, and place one more. And then a 90 degree angle, kind of a, if you're looking at the first hole is north, you want to put one north, south, east, and west. Now, you want to put two uh, equal intervals between the two, between each of those four holes. This will give you a, a total of 12 holes, which is a decent, will give you a decent burn time and fuel consumption. There we have it, a finished alcohol stove. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up for you so you can uh, see what it, how it works. So this is my fuel. This is 190, 190 proof alcohol. Uh, just some, some good old Everclear. Just put a little bit in there.
turn the light off so you can see what's going on. Okay, so as the alcohol heats up, it starts coming out the sides of the can, and this is when you'll be able to take your pot or your pan and just set it right on the, it's a little hard to balance, but right on the burner. And as you can see, it works just like a gas stove. And that'll heat up your your spaghettios or whatever it is you're eating that night. You can boil water with it. And uh, I think uh, on my preliminary tests with these, I got about 10 minutes per tablespoon of alcohol. It burns a little faster if there's no pan on it, so be careful not to just uh, let it go all on its own for a while does very nice for heating up water it um, it'll cook food and you can make one of these oh pretty pretty quickly uh, if you're not trying to shoot a video I think I can make one in about 15 minutes if I'm in a hurry and it just takes a pop can and a knife to make one really but that's how you make it anyway thanks for watching you guys if you're into uh, homesteading or bushcraft or not bushcraft homesteading or guns or anything like that go check out ziva for freedom uh, i'll put her link below she's a really cool gal thanks guys have a great day